Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on how to unlock, how to play and how to build Heiner. Heiner I think is the best tank in the game and is utterly indispensable in almost any team. He's very easy to unlock. To start, in the green zone, you navigate to the crumbling tower and select accept. You then continue to finish act one as normal and then navigate to the red portal. Once you're in the red zone, you navigate to the black forge in the center of the map and then once you get there, you select enter. There's no downside to missing your role when you select enter, so you can always just select it without any fear. You then complete the fight, defeating all the enemies, and then you would have unlocked Heine. It's as simple as that. Heine's tankiness and his unique starting cards make him the best tank in the game. He's the only person who's able to get taunt on Act 1 in high madness levels without getting lucky with card rewards or items in the shop. This means that he can really easily control these fights and manage all the damage onto himself which makes the healer's life a lot easier. Heiner's innate is unbreakable which gives lots of block to all of your allies at the start of combat. Now this also stacks with your perks, which means if you max out your block, you can get to 20 block at the start of each turn. His unique item is Reinforced Core, which gives a bonus to all resistances and an additional block charge. Behind this perks, I like to go for a 32-18. On this front page, you want to maximise your health and resistances and balance the golden shards as you like. I also go for two energy stacks. On the physical tab, I maximise my block. I like to start with one stack of Reinforce. Uh, one extra stack of taunt and under the fortify I like to make sure that there are five additional stacks of armor per fortify per champion So these are just ways to maximize your block and survivability Heiner's starting deck includes three intercepts two bluffs his unique card heat laser which grants himself taunt fortify stacks and some block three guards one shield charge three steel skins, and two Sunder Armors. I like to build a very cheap Heiner, so when adding to his deck I like to add one Helping Hand, which is really good to help the team, two Intimidates, and two Repair Armors. These are really cheap cards, you can build this deck for about 200 shards, and it's just really efficient to help your team get to where it needs to get to, because he's got a really strong starting kit. I like to remove all my Sunder Armors and all my Steel Skins. You can choose to keep one Steel Skin and get rid of one Guard instead, but because I put no points into Shield, I prefer just to get rid of all my Steel Skins. Because Heiner is very strong, I do not upgrade any cards and prefer just to keep the Shards on all my other characters instead. When you're in the shop, you want to keep an eye out for any items that make you tankier. I think the strongest item you could find would be the Hourglass of Death, which guarantees you taunt at the start of the game. It does have negative effects, but managing to keep all the enemies aggro on one person is invaluable. When choosing pets, you may want to consider a cheap option like Champy, who gives block and fawn stacks, but personally I think Sharpie is the best possible pet to choose. He is expensive, but being able to dispel one negative effect per turn is incredible, especially if you have Taunt up, you will be constantly getting debuffed. Playing Heino is very easy, you put him at the front and you just keep armouring up. He's very good to pair with someone who can help him get to his Taunt as fast as possible. You don't really want to be finding your Taunt on round 3, you want to find it on round 1 or round 2, so if you run him with scouts like Andrin, who could help him discard some of his deck just to work down to his Taunt faster. If you have lots of spare mana, you can choose to armor up other teammates if you don't have taunt. You can put fortify on other people by using guard. But overall, he just stands there and takes damage. I try not to use my shield charge every turn. I use it only if I have over 100 armor or if the slow is absolutely necessary. Otherwise, try not to waste your mana, keep yourself high and just ride the wave, really. He's a very fun champion to play. I think he's the best tank in the game, a really easy champion to unlock and very, very cheap to build to be very strong. So I hope you've enjoyed today's guide. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them below. Stay tuned for more Across the Obelisk content. Thank you for watching and goodbye.